today we're going to be going over this speaker cabinet I built for the uh, 991 Alpha. I wasn't thrilled with the performance of the, uh, the small internal speaker up top. So I decided, instead of getting an external speaker, I was going to make this and I'll show you what we did here. made this so the alpha just fits right in. Here's what we got. These little three inch speakers driven by this 100 watt little amplifier. It's a simple plug right back into the radio to the external speaker. What you do have to do is this uh, converts everything from mono to stereo so you could run both channels into the amplifier. It does need external power. I've got it just running off a of Woolworth right now. But you can off the power supply with the radio. That's that. We have this is the amplifier. A lot of people were asking about uh, a parts list. Most of this is some sort of Chinese junk. This is the amplifier. All the speakers. If you can get a part number off of that, be my guest. They sound good. I just built a uh, little wooden enclosure for everything. It's only about half the half the depth of the radio. Imported boxes. Uh, I had someone asking for measurements. opening is nine inches, depth of the box is six inches, the height of everything is five and a half, and it sits on a two and a half inch shelf. So I'll, uh, I'll power everything up, I'll plug everything in, I'll show you what the sound difference is. Now, the only thing I didn't account for when I built this was I had to take the carry handle off. Other than that, it's no big deal. I do bring this out in the field with me a lot, so uh, I do throw the handle on, but I just keep it in the case. Had people telling me, oh, what about ventilation? Back here, there's plenty of room for the air to flow through. And people telling me, oh, they vent through the sides. Well. If you could show me where. So, let's get this wired up. I'll show you how it sounds. Drops right in. So right now, there's a little bit open on 10 meters. This is the internal speaker, about halfway up. Turn around and see if it fits.
It's okay. But it leaves a little something to be desired. So, this is off. I'll plug in my amplifier. This is about quarter volume on the amplifier. Uh, a single uh, bench, um, direct to a 14 meter down from the long cell, to set with a mental electric one to get away. The gain is quite similar to a uh, Switch over to 40 meters and see what we got. Other facilities here, but good morning, W9JAM. Uh, make a transmission, then we'll go over to you, uh, uh, Vinny, KV1HY. Much fuller. Again, this is with the amplifier. So, yeah, we'll shut it off. And this is the internal. It's a big difference. Okay, very good. Put on the ASM. Working well. Okay, I'm back. Well, whenever you guys want to choose it, but uh, I'm all messed up here this morning. But you take it, Vinny. K1GJB, then over to Rod. Over. Okay, oh, very good. Uh, good morning to the station. So, just built it out of plywood, measured everything out, mounted the box. The radio has a brace in the back that it sits on. And that's pretty basic. Uh, pretty happy with it. It's a little, little big, but it serves its purpose. Uh, either way, let me know what you think.